Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial on wi uh, wind and um, sweeps. So something that I didn't know how to do earlier, um, I, I learned a while back, and it's actually really simple, and it's kind of a core thing in a lot of different music and sound effects. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, do that. So see this plus button in the channel rack? Uh, in the channel rack, you hit the plus button, and down near the bottom, it's 3x OSC, so three times the oscillator. And you can see there's two different or three different oscillators here. And you just go ahead and you click all the dice because we want random noise. So it'll sound like that uh, starting out uh, because that's kind of the base sound to build off of. And then over here on the top right hand corner of this box, something says track. So you just click the track button and it adds it here. All right. Now we're going to need some uh, some stuff to work with. So I think probably yeah, we'll go we'll go two full sections there, and then put it in here. And this thing is the playlist. So it's this thing, the little button next to pattern that's lighting up blue right now. And then um, we need to go back to the mixer, which I believe you can get to from here. Yeah, so that's sort of the, the button with two of these little up and down things. I don't know what to call those. I guess they're, um, I know there's a technical term, but whatever. So you're going to click on this uh, 3x OSC channel, and then uh, you're going to right click on this little bar, and you go create automation clips so we can control the volume over here. And then over here, you're going to click the little plus button in the mixer slot that well it's it's more of a, a down arrow and then uh, first thing we want is some reverb so you know bring up this box which is great and then on the dry I'm gonna create an automation clip and on the wet we want to right click and create an automation clip for both these and then the, the next thing we want to do is add a fruity love filter which is in the filters section uh, down towards the bottom and then this cutoff, um, we want to right click on that and create an automation clip. Uh, all right, so we have four different automation pieces. So at the moment, it sounds kind of dull. It's improved, but it's a little bit dull. So we want to start the volume off low in the case of a sweep, but not all the way off. Though you can start it all the way off it just means you have to wait longer for the sound to actually be audible. So um, we're going to leave it. Yeah, we can do it all the way off, whatever. We'll be patient. And then for the cutoff filter, which is the other thing that you want to slowly scale up, you want to, you can just go ahead and put it all the way off as well. Um, but just keep in mind, you won't be able to hear it for a little while. And then you want to put the cutoff as a little bit higher up. Not all the way, but like 70% of the way up. And then that'll improve the sound a bit. So I'll run it. You begin to hear about now. And it builds. So, and, and that's something that's used in all sorts of different music. Um, so it kind of sounds like a wind that's building up. People like it, um, especially when it's paired with other things. Uh, so, and then the reason I have the dry level and the wet level, and we'll put these kind of off on their own section, is because you can affect the sound a bit more. A and I like how, how it affects it. So we're going to um, go ahead and actually change this a bit. So let's move the dry level down, the wet level up, and just see how that sounds. I'm going to take it a second because it's not really audible at first. And you can see sort of how it um, builds differently, sounds a little bit differently. If we actually um, change th these to be slightly higher, the volume and the, f and the cutoff, we can hear it earlier on. Uh, 
gives it a little bit different sound. There's a little bit of echo in there. So it's something you can kind of play around with. Um, the reverb essentially gives it a different fill. And then what we can actually do is duplicate this over here and then um, hit control and then select these and then control C to copy and control V to paste. And then we got another section. And then um, these aren't lining up quite right, so I'm going to zoom in. And I hit control and scroll to zoom in on the mouse wheel. Uh, and then what we can do here is uh, these can stay the same. But if we change how these work, so we could click on this little top uh, left hand corner and say make unique on both of those, um, we can change them independently of the other. So we can do stuff like, and we'll right click on the far right hand point and click it to be uh, pulse. Um, or we can click it, to, I think wave is probably better. And we'll do the same on, on this end. And then uh, we want to click in the center where we see the, the adjustment sign. And then we'll pull that down so it's not uh, too crazy. So you click and you drag downwards. And we can just sort of see how that changes it. And that, and that adds a little bit of a body to it so that if you wanted to do some sort of sound effect um, that has more movement in it, then you can kind of play around with it, but in a subtler way than just affecting volume and, and cutoff frequency. Uh, so for instance, if we want to just do volume and cutoff, we'll move these halfway, I think. That way we can see both with and without. And then um, we'll just add a bit of difference in cutoff. And that's kind of what cutoff does. And then this is without the cutoff changing. So yeah, I think that covers everything. Uh, the one last thing that you might want to do is, let's say you want to render out a piece. So you go up to this top bar and you see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. You're going to right click on 9, select the whole thing. And then uh, what you can do is go over to File and export, and then export it as probably a wave file is fine. Um, you can do whatever else. And then I think I have underneath patches, I have a custom uh, music pack that I just put stuff in. And we'll call this um, wind sweep, and then save. And you don't have to really adjust any of this stuff, but you can. It's not that important, I don't think. I think it's pretty much normal. So we'll just start the rendering of that. And since we selected this specific uh, part, it'll be eight seconds worth of it, and it won't include that part. So I'll just grab it and put it in here. And you can see it's the same thing that this is. So if I mute all these channels by clicking the green icons, uh, we can just play this. And you can see how it follows what this would be doing. And that way you can just use it as a sample. You don't have to create all these fancy stuff every time. Uh, you can just, you know, import it into whatever project you want and of course change it and render it as, as you see fit. There's no need to have um, it'd be exactly like this, obviously, because you might not want the the in and out um, variation that's created by. You might just want the build. You might not want the variation that I've added here. So you can actually just mess around with that in whatever way you uh, think is best. So yeah, I think that covers uh, the tutorial and creating sounds. So I think that's where I'm going to leave it off at.